Welcome everyone to another Mauer Geek video. Uh, today I decided to do another anti-ransomware uh, video. The quality of malware links available today is pretty poor, as well as the overall quality of malware samples. So today we're going to be taking a look at Hitman Pro Alert. This is a fully zero-day uh, solution, meaning it does not use any signatures uh, to detect malware. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can scan the computer, which actually downloads the original Hitman Pro and uses signatures to uh, scan the computer. I do not have that um, downloaded, of course. Safe browsing uh, warns you if there's unsafe content while you're browsing the internet. Exploit mitigation, which basically prevents things like Java exploits and Internet Explorer exploits and that sort of stuff from dropping files under your computer and installing malware. And then we have risk reduction, which is what we're really going to be looking at today. Um, vaccination stops sandbox aware malware. Crypto Guard, which is their anti-ransomware um, module. Webcam notifier, keystroke encryption, process protection, which prevents process hollowing. Uh, network lockdown stops backdoor traffic and bad USB which blocks malware from executing um, from a USB thumb drive. So I did change the user interface from standard to advanced. You can always go back. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. I do wish that they had a settings button a little bit more visible here on the main interface you know maybe next to the scan button or something like that would be nice so we're gonna be testing hitman pro alert against some ransomware today um, and see how well it can protect you as a uh, ransomware or anti ransomware solution their crypto guard is enabled um, protects local and shared files against crypto ransomware like crypto locker it's enabled um, you can, this is disabled by default, Windows file sharing. Um, it does protect the master boot record, so hopefully it will uh, be effective in blocking ransomware such as Petya. So, as the usual test goes, I do have some pictures in here, but I've also scattered some documents in here as well. Um, and I do have some pictures here, which I will show you because these are like super important and I want to keep them on the computer at all times. So uh, I have one here on the desktop and uh, I have a couple here in um, my pictures folder. As you can see, they're all accessible. Uh, we also have our sample pictures here. And uh, of course, we have some documents. So uh, there you go. Anyways, um, we're going to be running some of this ransomware. I have some of the same samples that I had before uh, when I did uh, the Malwarebytes anti-ransomware video and the MCSoft anti-ransomware video. However, I've changed a few of them. I got rid of Locky and I replaced them with a few uh, other samples. So we're going to launch kill switch here and um, get started. And if any of you were wondering why um, the taskbar is back to Windows Basic, uh, it's because the virtual machine was acting kind of silly and goofy. When I had these 3D acceleration uh, enabled, I cannot figure out why it was doing that. Um, but anyways, that's the reason it looks like that. Irrelevant side note. So, we're going to keep kill switch up here. I'm not going to keep the uh, pictures window down here. Um, if we see any ransomware activity, obviously this will tip me off right away if this one gets encrypted. Um, so, Hitman Pro Alert is running. I'm going to check for updates, make sure it is up to date. It should be. Um, I'm assuming so. Let me try again. No update available. So yes, it is up to date. Um, and just to show you, the Crypto Guard um, module is active, so we will see how well it does against preventing a ransomware attack.
So without further ado, let's get started and we will start with Jigsaw as we have done before. And here's the fake uh, error message and there's the payload in memory. Let's see what it does. Looks like dropbox.exe. Identified by Komodo Signatures as a file coder. And uh-oh. It appears that our files have been encrypted. Yes, they have. Um, our sample pictures have not been touched. However, the ransomware appears to have... Uh, encrypted our other files. However, um, Hitman Pro Alert has detected it. Attack intercepted. Um, this fake Firefox um, executable has been terminated to prevent execution of malicious code. And close. However, it is still running in memory. So, it says that it terminated it, but there's still malware running in memory. So, not quite. However, it did restore um, this picture, and it appears that it has restored this picture. However, this one is still encrypted, and this one has been restored. But we're missing at least two pictures. Let's check our documents. Both of our documents have been encrypted and they have not been restored or reversed. So that's very, very interesting. It says it terminated the malware, but however, we have this malware running in memory and our, our files have been encrypted. So let's go ahead and I'm going to restore this machine to a clean state and we will go with sample number two. Okay, I have restored the machine to a clean state again. Uh, our pictures are back and our documents are back. So, um, I don't know. I mean, just with that first sample, I'm kind of concerned because Jigsaw is not a very sophisticated ransomware. Um, it's really, you know, not sophisticated at all. It's just a .NET um, based ransomware, .NET framework rather. Um, so I'm not really sure if Hitman Pro Alert's really going to be able to prevent a lot of these more sophisticated samples from doing damage to the computer. But we will try them anyway. So let's try Crypto Wall, which is a fairly old ransomware. Okay, it detects that one immediately and blocks it. So that one appears to have been immediately detected and blocked. And our documents appear to be intact. Our pictures are still intact. So that's good. It blocked that one. Let's try, uh, let's try WannaCry. See how that does. Okay, WannaCry is in memory. Just extracted a lot of its stuff and it has blocked want to cry. Let's see if our documents are affected. Uh, it did create um, encrypted copies of our documents, however, we can still access them. Let's check our pictures. Yep, our pictures appear to be untouched. Our picture on the desktop of, you know, well, you understand, um, is untouched. So it did create a um, encrypted copy. However, it was not able to actually touch the picture itself. However, the malware is still in memory. And just to show you, it's, is it still in memory? Yes, it is. It's right there. However, I'm not sure. Well, it appears to be active, so um, 
it's trying to launch its um, wanted decryptor and it's doing it's still doing things in memory so it's still active even though hitman pro alert says that it blocked it so I'm gonna let this machine run for a minute and see if it's gonna keep trying to maybe encrypt our files and it has launched its um, wanted decryptor so I'm gonna let it run for a minute and then we'll see uh, we'll come back and see if it actually uh, gets away with you know deleting the original copies or whatnot so I'll be back okay so it appears that um, WannaCry was not able to actually encrypt our files however it still concerns me that the ransomware is still in memory that is dangerous um, because if the ransomware is continuing to run and is active in memory it could potentially overcome uh, or be trying to uh, encrypt our files. Um, that is especially true with server, which is the next sample I'm going to try once I restore the machine again, because uh, the wanted decryptor really doesn't want to go away, and I'm going to restore it back to the, you know, clean version of the machine. Um, server likes to restart the computer a lot, especially if it can't um, successfully encrypt the files. So we'll see what happens so I'll be back okay so we're back we're back to a clean machine again and we are going to try server which is a resilient ransomware and we're gonna see how well hitman pro alert can protect the machine and our files and uh, because if server is left in memory, it will continue to try to encrypt your files if it isn't su successful the first time. So here we go. Let's try server. Oh. Well. It's launched its ransom note, and uh, our file on the desktop appears to have been encrypted. Let's check our documents. They're untouched. Let's try our pictures. They're untouched as well. However, I got no alert from Hitman Pro um, alert on that. And it did encrypt the file on the desktop, however, it didn't touch these in the uh, pictures folder or our documents. But still, um, my file on the desktop was encrypted. What if that was a really important work document or something like that? I mean, you'd be kind of out of luck on that one. So, that's a fail right there. It didn't even find. It didn't even detect that one, and it encrypted our file. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna try one more sample, and uh, that's gonna be Petya, which tries to destroy the master boot record. And uh, then we'll, if it, uh, we'll see what happens, and then we might be concluding this review. So, I'll be back. Okay, we're back again. So the last ransomware sample that I'm going to try is uh, Petya here. I believe this is the green version. Not that it really matters. So let's launch Kill Switch. And uh, just to show you guys one more time here, let me hide the trusted processes there um, just to show you guys one more time um, not that that's not what I wanted sorry I'm having trouble navigating which I shouldn't I know where I'm trying to go but it's just getting there is the problem uh, under crypto guard the master boot record is protected so let's see if it can stop this nasty ransomware so 
Here we go. Okay, it did catch that one. It has been terminated to prevent execution of malicious code. So it's a mitigation wipe guard. Um, Petya.exe. Explorer.exe. And Petya Crashers. So it was able to protect and it did terminate Petya. So let's try Satana, which is also a master boot record encrypting malware. That one also crashes. I might have had the wrong sample of ransomware there. It didn't do anything, I don't think. If we just want to check our files, I didn't see any kind of ransomware behavior. Yeah, it looks like that one just crashed. So... That one's launching a bunch of command prompts and stuff. Um, but I'm not seeing any kind of ransomware behavior, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to do anything. But it appears that that one also crashed, or it didn't work. So, let me go ahead and just reboot the machine. We're going to make sure that we don't have any kind of... Uh, modifications to the master boot record and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it I'll be back okay so we're back um, so my con my conclusion on hitman pro alert um, I'm not really convinced that this is the answer to um, you know zero day malware and protecting yourself from zero day malware um, it did a good job blocking Satana Petya. However, Jigsaw was able to encrypt our files before um, Hitman Pro Alert responded, and it did respond, but it allowed Jigsaw to encrypt a couple of our files. It allowed Server to encrypt our file with no alert, and WannaCry um, was still running around in memory. Um, so I'm not entirely convinced by this product um, because if it can't stop something like, you know, uh, Jigsaw, which is a not, which is not really a sophisticated piece of ransomware, how's it going to handle something like a simple Trojan or, you know, a worm or a rootkit, you know, so I'm... I'm not really convinced by this product, so I think there are better options out there, to be honest with you. And uh, I might give this thing the full review, but in terms of protecting you from ransomware, I would look somewhere else for something, you know, that's a little bit more comprehensive and does a better job at protecting your files. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe, share it with your fa family and friends, and... Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.